So hello everyone. Um, this is my first video. Uh, I'm going to show you the process of stripping my telescope mirror. Uh, the background story is that um, there was free illuminization at the Stellophane Convention and the guy put it in the solution overnight to strip the old aluminum off the mirror. And it was not very successful. There are still aluminum here, so um, I'm going to have to do the rest of the job myself. So, first of all, I watched the process and um, you have to have ferric chloride, which strips the mirror, strips the aluminum off the mirror. I'm also going to do the secondary, which was not even touched yet. Eventually, I'm going to send it in for aluminization, but this is, I'll take you through the whole process. First of all, I bought a clothing container that uh, at Walmart, because it's plastic, you don't want to do this in the aluminum, obviously, because it'll uh, eat away at the, your container. So, first of all, you're going to have to wear gloves because you are dealing with chemicals, uh, acids to be to be specific, and you don't want uh, first uh, you don't want the acid going into your hands. And. Um, also, you want to try and keep as many contaminants off the mirror as possible. So, I've watched them do this. What they've done is they've taken uh, cosmetic wipes that ladies use to take off makeup from their face. And you kind of put that around there to soak up the... Uh, to soak up the... Uh, chemicals so since we have the secondary mirror and there's kind of it's still attached to the mount so there's no real way to get this to lay flat just no way so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put a few pads down in the bottom of the box and I'm going to lay it face down but first I'm going to soak it with the ferric chloride I'm doing this in my garage to keep it out of number one to keep it out of the weather number two I want a, some ventilation here uh, I just don't want to take the chance that to inhale anything and uh, oh crap okay what I failed to do is I failed to take the silver foil off the top of the bottle because it is a new bottle and I forgot about the, the seal so I cut the video for a minute to open the seal let's just soak this really good it's okay if you spill a little bit into the put some on these pads too and place my secondary face down should soak right into the surface of the mirror
and we're going to let it sit overnight. We're going to come back tomorrow and see what we got. And uh, once again, don't forget to use gloves. Okay, so here it is a couple of days later. Uh, I didn't. I left it on longer than I thought because we've had some rainy weather here and I just didn't want to come out in the storm. So you're seeing this uh, as soon as I do. I haven't done it, removed anything, so let's see what we got. Let's see, we'll start removing stuff. Just put a gun over it in the corner. Hmm. Well, it's better than it was. Looks like most of it is off, except for a couple of corners here. Uh, looks like where the pads overlapped. It still has some stuff, so I might just put this back in selected areas. Oh, that one's didn't do a thing here. Okay. Well, that's the primary. Still, you see, we still have some aluminum that we need to get off. Let's take a look at the secondary and see what we got. Oh, yep, mostly done. Mostly done. Okay, just up on the corners. I don't know. Yeah, again, that's probably where the pads overlapped. So what I'm going to do, do this a little bit differently. This is already soaked. I'm gonna, just going to take one pad, and it looks like it'll just, just fit on that pad. So it looks like we need to do some selective placement of the pads. That's a, that's a spot. Let me get one that's a little more soaked. This one here. I'll put that there. We still have the red dot, which marks the center, exact center of the mirror. That's used for alignment purposes. Let's see where else have we got some silver here. Not silver, sorry, aluminum. Silver is nice, and it has better re reflectivity than aluminum, but it is so much more expensive. Let's see if I can get this spot and this spot with one pad. Oh, a little flex here, okay. Here. There's a big spot here. Doesn't matter if it overlaps a little bit. Uh, some spots there, a good spot there, and that looks like, that looks like about it. Okay. One thing I did not show you last time is that since this is a clothing container, Original, that's the original purpose, but I'm using it to just to contain my stuff. It does come with a lid, so I'm going to cover this up with a lid. That keeps the dust out of it, keeps protecting it, and I will see you again for the next installment, and uh, probably in about a day. See if all of that is has come off yet. So, all right. On to the next. So here we are again. It's actually two days later because yesterday we had one wicked storm come through here, uh, street flooding and the whole nine. But let's see if we've got all the uh, spots that we had. Oh, yeah. All of these remaining spots of aluminum have been dissolved. 
Uh, we still have the red dot though. I don't know. I might let the place that does the alumina aluminizing take care of that. So now what we ought to do, uh, we got to rinse this off and I've got a little pan here and I've got a spray bottle with um, Uh, the spray bottle you can get at Walmart very cheaply. You've got to rinse this off completely as best you can. And this is not just regular tap water, this is distilled water because you do not want any minerals or any contaminants in your water. Get the back. Okay. Just rinse the heck out of it. And you're hand is going to get tired from squeezing the trigger, but it's got to be done. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now Put this down on a piece of paper towel. Let's move this into the shot a little bit. And uh, what I have here is some spray glass cleaner. It should foam up. Take our cosmetic wipes. These are used because they're soft cotton and they're lint free. So, oh, there goes my, huh? There goes my red dot. It was just hanging on by a thread, I guess. red dot. Okay. And do the other side as well. This has, has my name here. <laughs> Gets all your ferric chloride off of there. This is the back of the mirror, by the way. This is doesn't matter. That's why the tape is on the back side. Okay, get some more. Of these pads. take and remove these 
and do another rinsing. paper towel. And just lay it down there. <clears throat> and just one last Pass through with the one of these pads. Okay, now that's the primary. I'm just going to let it air dry. Okay, that's the primary. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move that back. Get some more paper towel down here. And here's oh my secondary, and I still have I still have one more piece of aluminum there. Well, I might have to soak this a little more. Oh darn. I was hoping that would be completely done. Well, you follow the same procedure with the secondary. You wash it down with uh, distilled water, with a spray bottle, some glass cleaner, and she should be good. But I still have one more fleck of aluminum. Stubborn aluminum that's still on the, on the secondary. So I'm going to put it back on the pad and see what happens. So I'll come back with an update as soon as I can. Thank you. I'm back. It's the next day. You may notice I have a little different setup than I did yesterday. That's because the table I was using uh, is currently being used for a charity event. So I had to make do. Card table with a tarp over it. It's okay because this should be the last step before sending it out. So let's see how our secondary mirror is. See if that last piece of silver is gone and it is. Very nice. Very nice. So again, just take and rinse it down with distilled water. And just let gravity take the moisture away and the residual uh, ferric chloride. We'll wipe here with the Ooh. that part is rough and it got well all right. All right, I'm gonna take another pad and I'm gonna spray it down with the window cleaner, the glass cleaner. should be the rest of it. Just one last rinse. And 
there you have it. It is has no more aluminum on it. It's a let it dry. Then we'll pack it up and send it out to get a new coating on it. A new coating of aluminum. So stay tuned and we'll take you through the whole process. It's going to be a uh, in your time, it's not going to be very much, but in my time, it'll probably be a week. So, see you then. Here's the final step before it goes out of my hands and to the to Majestic Optics to be uh, re-illuminized and a nice coating put on it. So, I'm going to just, just take and wrap this a little bit in paper towel first. I'm going to take some bubble wrap into this one box. I'm going to put a, first put a layer down in the bottom. I'm going to take more bubble wrap. box out of the way so you can see. down in there. I don't know if I'm going to have enough bubble wrap. I might have to get more. And my second bubble wrap. And I'm just going to take a slice here. my secondary. That's going to get a nice bubble wrap too. Oh. Figures the tape would Tons of bubble wrap. I'm thinking I'm going to need more bubble wrap. Here we are back. A little different strategy. Got some more bubble wrap. And what you would like to do. Put some of this blue stuff. Maybe put some up the side a little bit. Oops. All right. We've 
we've already wrapped our mirror. Let's put that in the bottom. Put some more of the blue stuff here. I have my secondary mirror. I'll put that in the middle. Now, we're going to put our check right there, maybe off to the side. And, seal it up. Okay, but wait, I'm going to take this other box, which is slightly bigger. Start off with some bubble wrap there. Put this box inside. Well, you know what? I'm going to take one layer out. I'm going to put this one. That's a little better. Now I'm going to stuff the sides. And then, a layer on top. Maybe one more layer. And, There you have it. I just gotta oh boy. And take it down to my local package store. I'm sending this out to Majestic Optical Coatings which is located in Maryland. They come highly recommended. They're not the only ones that do this, but I will put a link to their website in case you're interested. So this gets sent out probably tomorrow and we'll, um, and, uh, we'll wait for it to come back in about a week or so and you and I will open it up together. Okay. So here it is. I'm so excited. The uh, mirror came back from uh, Majestic Optical Coatings. 
I haven't opened the box. You and I are going to do that together and see how our mirror and our secondary came out with a new coating of aluminum. And he also promises that there's a protective coating on it as well. So the great unveiling. Ah, uh, he put a nice he packed it in my original box. A piece of foam on top. Used all my <laughs> all my original packing, but that's okay. If it saves some money, that's fine. I don't know if you can see here that one flap was up. Let's see. The great unveiling. Okay. Oh, here's the secondary. Let's see. quite well. Oh, and then, okay, it's like Christmas, you got to go through all the wrapping paper, all the stuffing to get to it. Well, maybe I'll just cut this a little. Let's see what we got here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Ooh, very nice. Uh, you can see that. That's beautiful. He was able to do this without taking it off the mount. Very nice. Okay, well, that's one. Uh, we're getting down to the mirror. Let's take this away. Move this over. Okay. Still a mystery. Like I said, it's like Christmas. You gotta unwrap a bunch of stuff. I think this is the back. Like I said, you and I are seeing this for the first time together. Oh, there's the back. And it looks very reflective. Flip it over. Ooh. How about that? How about that? I just, uh, the next project is to put the center dot or a, some sort of a dot right in the center that helps me with the collimation. Uh, collimation is just a, a precise alignment so it's not this way or that way. And you, you want all the light going back through the tube to the secondary and out the eyepiece. So it has to be in the right position. And in order to do that, I need a dot right in the exact center to use a collimation tool. So there it is. Well, thank you for uh, joining me in this journey through taking an old mirror, stripping it, and putting it back with a, uh, an aluminum coating. So it's like a brand new mirror. So I'll probably do another video uh, showing you putting the dot in and collimating the telescope. Thank you very much.